The three charges in this problem are located on the y-axis. Charge 1 is negative, so I'll draw it in blue. It's located here. Charge 2 is positive, so I'll draw it in orange, located at the origin. And charge 3 is also positive, I'll draw it in orange, located here. We were asked to find the net Coulomb force exerted on charge Q3. That force is the sum of the two Coulomb forces, one each from charge 1 and charge 2. If we look first at the Coulomb force that 1 exerts on 3, we see they have opposite signs, so the force is attractive, and the force on Q3 is toward Q1. Charges 2 and 3 have the same sign, so the Coulomb force between them is repulsive, and on charge 3, the force exerted by 2 is away from charge 2. So both of these forces point in the negative y direction. Now we can fill in the magnitude. The magnitude of each Coulomb force is proportional to the magnitude of the charge product divided by the square of the distance separating those charges. If we factor out the common term of k and the magnitude of q3, we get this expression. into which we can substitute the known values. The Coulomb constant is here. Magnitude of Q3. Inside the parentheses we have the magnitude of Q1 divided by the square of the distance separating charges 1 and 3. And then the magnitude of Q2 and the square of the distance separating charges 2 and 3. When you calculate all of that, you find that the magnitude of the force is 2.58 times 10 to the minus 6 newtons, and it's in the minus y hat direction.